Our, our main challenge is really is attainment and, and raising standards and I think a good example of, of uh, raising standards is in the maths department and particularly at uh, Key Stage 4. We've made the difference in that level, those individuals who are a grade C to D, borderline, and that, in, that's where we've targeted our resources. With the grade C, D borderline uh, pupils that we have, what we've had the luxury of doing in the last few years is create a, a bridging set, if you like, between set one and set two. So they might be people who have been lacking confidence and um, not really attained as well as they sh might have in set one. Uh, particularly because in, in our school we have quite a broad range of ability. Sometimes the, the bottom end gets lost a little bit. So set 1B addresses that part, but then it's given that opportunity to those in set 2 to come up into set 1B and write, and they know they are going for the C. Throughout Key Stage 3, um, we've introduced something called thinking skills that I'm not so interested in the answer, I'm interested in how they've done it. Uh, the mechanics of it. So it's not me on the board showing them how to do this question, it's that I want to know how they are going to solve this problem. 75% of the time we can derive an answer from ideas that comes from the pupils. So it's like they're taking ownership, if you like, of their own learning. Also having the tables set as groups also allows for some great uh, interaction between the pupils. Um, I, I firmly believe I am not the only teacher in that room. I think the attitudes have changed as a result of all of this because of a, a bit of confidence that they've got from these thinking skills, from um, the, the way that I approach the lessons. Thinking skills in maths has helped us to look at how we would use maths later on in life and where we'd use it in jobs and that, not just in the classroom sums, how it would be applied into everyday situations. So I think it's helped us a lot and I do use it at home. So like if we're trying to do something at home or order something or something and how much we'd need, I'd use my maths that I've learned in school to figure out how to do it. We're encouraged to think for ourselves when uh, Mr Frost is in the front of the class and he tries to help us along the lines of how you work it out other than just telling us. It makes us think about how to work out and the logic behind maths. I, I understand it so enjoy going to maths lessons. Over the last five years, the proportion of pupils achieving grades C or above has risen from 21% to 53% and I think that's a tremendous uh, improvement.